I think wildfowling is, is one of those sports where you try and explain it to someone who doesn't know and they would think you're daft in the sense you go out on some of the wettest, windiest days in the winter to go out and potentially only have one or two shots at something that may not, may not be there. I think what makes it different to other types of shooting is the fact that you have to really work for your quarry. So you have to use decoys, duck calls to trick, trick the birds into shooting range really and it, it means that that bird's worth more. From an early age, the sort of the romance of wildfowling attracted me. It's wild environments, wild birds, wild conditions, and that's what is definitely the most attractive for me. I think the real appeal is when, when, it, when it happens and it works, you found yourself in the right spot, it's, it's, it's the stuff of dreams. I think they're the animal you treat with the, the, the most respect out of every animal we shoot. They're, they're magnificent animals, absolutely magnificent. We can start shooting uh, wildfowl on the 1st September through to the 31st of January. That's above the high water mark. Below the high water mark, we can continue uh, through to the 20th of February. Gear for wildfowling, it's all about comfort, being waterproof, being protected. Camouflage is not a problem when you're wildfowling. You want to be concealed. As little movement as possible and make sure you've got all the right kit for you. Lead as a shot type has been used for since ever, frankly. Uh, it's a very, very good shot type. Uh, we do know, well, we have to use non-toxic for wildfowl here in England over any conditions. The most viable non-alternative to lead is steel. It is harder, so you have to protect the shotgun barrel from the steel pellet. So you do need a big cup wad. All sort of protective cups so far have been plastic. The thing we use plastics is really something that we should not be using. And the Ely cartridge, they are ahead of the game at the moment, totally biodegradable, compostable wad is a really, really innovative thing to have. But there's nothing now that a modern steel cartridge can't do that a lead can. My advice for a successful day is shooting as individual gun, enjoy it. Don't get hung up on them. Shooting is very psychosomatic, and if you start thinking about it too much, it's not going to work out for you. We have a responsibility as duck shooters, as wildfowlers, make sure we're doing the right thing when we should be doing it for not only for the benefit of keeping our sport but also for the benefit of the ducks and the wildfowl that we're shooting. For example if numbers are low not to shoot the few that are there. Every wildfowl that goes out and pulls a trigger at a duck has that responsibility. I believe they should know when and where they should be shooting. These are wild animals they need looking after and we're very lucky to be able to take what we're going to take home with us and that should be all.